Hello, everybody. I'm Phil Flynn, Senior Market Analyst at the Price Futures Group, as well as a Fox Business Network contributor. October can be a very scary month for the stock market, and a lot of people are going to dump their position because of the volatility that we saw in September. But wait a minute. Sometimes after a rocky September, actually the month of October turns out to be pretty good for the stock market. In fact, that's the case more often than not. You know, we all remember the October crashes of the past, you know, back in the 80s, back in the 20s, but this time is different. You know, this year we probably have a lot of upward momentum in the market because more than likely we're on the road to get in some type of a stimulus deal out of Washington. And election years, sometimes you, even though you get some volatility, um, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes after a a new president or a re-election of a president, there's a honeymoon period in the stock market. So you wanna look for value on the volatility. But I know when people look at their portfolio, sometimes they look at the volatility and they wanna sell, 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 sell. Just remember what 007 would have done in, in volatility. Be shaken, but not stirred. That's right, have a drink, watch the volatility, but do not be stirred out of your position because you're gonna miss out. We're in one of the most biggest bull markets in, in stock market history, and a lot of people are crying because they got out too early. And we're very optimistic that in the new year, with all the stimulus around the globe, that we're going to see some incredible earnings for a lot of companies. I know the COVID-19 situation uh, is making a lot of people worried about a second wave, but we really believe that we're going to be turning the corner. And when we turn that corner, it should be good for your portfolio. And that's your trader tip for this week. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV. 